Welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. This is my first layout using the Hip Kit Club's December kit. I love this kit. It has, I love that navy. It's like a really dark, well, it's navy, really dark blue, it's navy. Um, and I love the reds, the greens. Um, so yeah, for this one, I wanted to since the picture that I'll be using is a bit on the cool side, I, I added a filter where um, the pictures aren't as bright. Um, then I but I wanted to add my um, color with the background. So what I wanted to use is trying. I what I wanted to do was try and use as much as a patterned paper as I could. Um, I cut those strips of paper at random widths, but the height was, I think, 11 and a half or 11 and three quarters. Um, the cardstock that I'm using is Basil White. Um, you'll see how I arrange the papers. Um, what I tried, what what I tried to do was, um, see, that's how. Um, the end up. Um, I edited out a lot from the video because um, at first I was like, hmm, should I do like do it like this? Hmm, no, yes, no, yes, no. So yeah, that's why I jumped into already the paper, the papers already being assembled. Um, here I used some Vicky Putin silver glaze. Um, which I watered down to create a mess <laughs> to create to create some splashy um, silver accent to the layout. Now I'm adding some silver splatters. Um, then, yeah, I prepare my I map my photo. I like to map my photo because it sort of yeah it makes the picture stand out more and for this time this time around I usually use solid cardstock but for this time I wanted to use some of the patterned paper as well um, so I use this one that's like a tone on tone white with some beige or off-white um, and that red um, it has like tiny polka dots or dots um, that that paper from the kit um, there I'm making sure that everything's squared off um, yeah let's see oh yeah I add some more mixed media um, actually no I don't think I do anyways um, there I'm looking for some um, some of the chipboard ephemera to add um, to my kit because this one I want if if it were for me I would have used everything in a single layout <laughs> but you know that's not the idea when you have a kit you want to stretch your product as much as possible so um, and that's my goal with this kit I want to see how many layouts I can make by using the kit now off camera I added that red ribbon and I did a bit of chain stitch a, a bit of hand stitching and I used some gold thread um, and the stitch that I made was um, the chain link stitch I popped up my photo on 3d um, craft foam and the title is going to be Merry Christmas it's it'll be a combination of um, what are those puffy stickers and chipboard alphas what I like about using chipboard is that um, you can use it in the width that it already comes in but if you don't want a whole lot of dimension um, you can remove some of the backing and they sl slim down a bit. Um, 
but I love those letters. So yeah, my goal with this December kit and with all the kits that I'm that I'll get from Hip Kit Club from the Hip Kit Club is to try and see how I can stretch my kit as much as possible. Well, and at the same time, use up my stash because that's my goal for this year. I, with the exception of buying Hip Kit Club, I don't want to buy any collection, any extra ephemera, anything else. Um, for my aim is for the first half of the year. If I make it to the year, that'll be great. But I want to make some dent in my stash um, so that I can I can more readily find stuff in my stash because sometimes I go, oh, I know I have this, but where is it? Um, so yeah, that's my goal for this year. So I've already signed up for the Hip Kit Club back in December. Um, I have the December and the January kit, and I want to use those kits as much as possible. If I have some ephemera, puffy sticker left over, that's okay, but use it up as much as I can. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so now I'm fiddling around with the ephemera, some of the puffy stickers, the ship chipboard stickers. Um, and those buttons as well to sort of, yeah, just decorate my, my layout without taking away from the picture and without going crazy with the embellishing because the background is already drying your eye. But yeah, anyways, I just add some wood veneer stars. Um, I'll add some Nouveau drops in, I think that's Autumn Sunset or something. And the red is, I forgot the name. But yeah, it's a red and that's a that's golden, um, golden meadow or green meadow. Um, then I realized when I'm finishing up my layout, that I didn't leave space for the journaling. So I took some of the little cardstock or chipboard from one of the, I think it was from that little packaging thing that's not plastic, um, cardboard. Um, yeah, I think it's cardboard from one of the ephemera packs. And I wrote my journaling down and then I added it into the layout. You'll notice that I add some things in, I take some things out because they just don't work out for me. Um, they take away too much from the story that's the picture. Let's see, what else do I add? Oh yeah, those um, flowers. Thing. Yeah, they're flowers. They make it into the layout. Here are the close-ups. I hope you like it. This is layout one with the hip December kit from um, Hip Kit Club. Let's see how many I can make with it. See you soon.